Here's how to prepare for math competitions. Hey, it's Amy. I was a state math champion and an AMC. I qualified for AIME and then on the AIME I got a five or a six. I also won several medals from state Olympiads and I got some district number one prizes. Math was definitely my main spike on my college applications, which allowed me to get into the California Institute of Technology or Caltech. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top tips I recommend for you as you prepare no matter what stage of the math competition journey you're currently in. If you don't know my main channel, Waymi, then you can skip to this timestamp. The following message is for those who know my Waymi channel. I've gotten so many requests from you guys about math competitions, like how to prepare, what my story was, blah, blah, blah. And I'm really sorry that I didn't get to this earlier, but that's why I'm filming this kind of spontaneously. I'm sometimes incredibly busy and overwhelmed with all the content that I wanna put out to help you guys and the most people possible. So that's why I didn't really get to this because math competitions are kind of a small subset of my current subscriber base on Waymi and it didn't really match that niche, hence this new channel. So all math competition related, solving real problems, math tips and tricks, problem solving things will now be on this channel. Also because of my limited time, but I really wanna get this valuable information out to you guys, there will be less editing and less beautification in general. So don't expect memes and beautiful edits like on my main Waymi channel, but I know you guys are waiting and the earlier you get the information, then the more likely you are to succeed. And that's what I definitely want for you. I'll make a video later on my math competition journey. So leave your questions below. Basically just take this as a huge community for those looking to improve in math problem solving skills in general and math competitions. Because the kinds of mindsets and things we learn will not only help with math competitions specifically, but also make you really good in school math, in chemistry, in other areas of your regular schooling. And the most important tip, which might be a little obvious, is at the end. Let's go! Number one, log reoccurring tricks or patterns. In the AMC and many other tests, there are some recurring patterns of types of problems that come up. And once you see a tool or a way of thinking that you continually have to use, it's important to log it down and check if that method is actually the most efficient way to do it. So for example, there's PIX method, which is a way to get the area given a shape on a grid. So that's a common formula or reoccurring trick that you might need. Something else is combinations and specifically having three boxes and having like a certain number of balls to see how many ways you can put those balls in. For the smart way to do that, for example, I have this short that will be linked in the cards and down in the description. Keep track of these in a spreadsheet where one column is gonna be, you know, either the date and then the trick, other notes for yourself, and finally the problem number and test that you got that from so you can always refer back to it. Time yourself to reduce careless mistakes. One of my biggest Achilles heels was how many points I would lose just because I made a dumb error. Because math competition questions and multiple choice are meant to trick you. They trick you much more than on SAT and ACT math because the test writers anticipate one wrong path you might take or one wrong kind of thinking and they'll put that exact answer on there. So just because you see that answer option in multiple choice doesn't mean that you got it right. For AMC, I also use this kind of Canadian test to practice with timing because it's pretty similar to the AMC, but I think slightly easier. This will be linked in the description as well. But don't just you know blindly keep doing practice mock timed tests after each one make sure to review everything get the faster easier solutions and ensure that with each practice test you're improving a little bit three do problems that are too hard for you once you do more challenging problems you're really stretching your brain such that at the same time you're building back on again the foundations from earlier easier problems. And what's interesting about math competitions is that if you're like me, I actually found the longer tests with harder questions easier for me to score well on because 
I didn't have that time crunch and then I could think as long as I wanted on the hard problems. Also on the AMC, like the multiple choice questions near the end are supposed to be the hardest, but sometimes the problems at the end are really easy if you just know that one trick. Like the AMC is supposed to be easiest to hardest questions, but if you get to a few hard questions, you might find those as some easier points than maybe even some of the previous questions. Four. Increase focus by using electronics less. I am honestly so grateful that I did not have this much social media when I was in high school because there is just no way that I could be like 100% like zone in into that AMC test because that's literally the kind of focus you need to do well and you only get one or two shots at it. So it's so critical that at least a few months before your exam, you are straight cutting out things that have a notification that distract you, things where you scroll, because the act of scrolling is literally training your brain to forget the things that came before. We're making our brain less sharp and giving it a much shorter attention span. Because like in my math Olympiads, I had a four hour math Olympiad and a six hour one, where for each of them, it was only like five questions. If you have a TikTok brain, there is no way you can sit through that test and put in your best effort. Because for that four hour and six hour test, I stayed through that entire time, every time, because that's how you try and maximize your score. Five, always continue learning math tricks. Even if you think that you've already gotten this repertoire of math tricks and all you have to do is practice, there are still new ones that come up, so always be adding more tools to your toolbox. There are some math tricks already in the short section of my channel, and you can also Google common math tricks, go in forums like the art of problem solving, but something that is definitely helpful is number six, a tutor. So for full transparency, I did have a private tutor, and initially it wasn't even because I wanted to do math competitions. It was just so I could purely get better at math, to have my brain opened up to what math really was and that super, super amazing problem solving skill. The beginning lessons, I was just amazed because in the first time I had a math lesson with Dr. Song, he showed me like 40 something ways to prove the Pythagorean theorem. And in that moment, I was like, school was so wrong. You miss out on this whole world where I don't need to memorize or even know the 43 ways to prove the Pythagorean theorem. But the fact that there are so many out there and these different ways of thinking just mean that math is truly creative. It's not about memorizing. It's not about brute force. It's just finding it beautiful. So I recommend you have an amazing math tutor like Dr. Song um, just to simply improve your thinking overall, which I think will trickle into other parts of your life and schooling and just make you, you know, able to succeed in other areas. Speaking of a tutor, because I know that sometimes it might be hard to afford, on this A Plus Math channel, I'm actually going to be posting little math lessons for both opening your mind up to math and being better at problem solving and math competitions. These lessons are directly from my old math tutor, Dr. Song. So shout out to him. Thank you for him to letting me use some of his materials to share with you guys for free. So again, yeah, make sure to subscribe for that. Seven, the most important tip, dun, 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 do tons of practice problems. Train your brain daily. Think of exercising, right? If your muscles don't get trained in an extended period of time, they're gonna get weaker. So same thing with your brain. You need to not only be doing problems daily, but you need to be increasing the difficulty and you need to be evaluating and reflecting how you can be improving when you do so many problems. And not only that, but doing more problems exposes you to different variations of problems and also similar problems that then will make the entire concepts just easier to apply to new problems because the AMC and these Olympiads, I don't think they reuse problems. So overall, the quantity, also of course, the quality of your practice is a huge factor that will make your brain just trained, right? Like think of training for a sport 
or training for something, right? We're called mathletes for a reason, guys. So <laughs> in school, when I have a break, perhaps I finished my stuff early in class, I'd make sure to always have an AMC test with me so I could just think about a problem for the remainder of class. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do because I know you're busy with school and everything, but I really try to squeeze out any extra time I could to get those reps in. If there's anyone out there who's willing to help me edit these around seven minute math tricks videos, I would love it so much and you'll be paid of course. It'll just help me be able to make more of these videos for you guys. Hey, okay, those are the seven tips I have for you. If I missed anything and if you have your own suggestions, please comment, like on Waymi. I hope that this community becomes a great crowd of people who are all ambitious, smart, and help each other. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get my math tricks and math thinking improvement videos because I'll be posting more here and thanks so much. I don't even know if many people are gonna watch this channel, but hopefully this was helpful. All right, peace.